But it's Jared Roden, as I mentioned, making his first career start that puts up the opening shot, and he's short with it. And now here's Rutgers going up top for an LAU to Ron Harper. Rutgers hangs their hat on defense and rebounding. Shot clock was winding down, and Baker knocks down an NBA three. Now missing his first shot, unable to stick it back in. Ike Obiagu, and here comes Rutgers, and alley you Harper again! This time for Baker! He's at the shoot-around today. I didn't realize he was going to start the game with them. <laughs> Quincy McKnight with a turnover. Yaboa, they say he's great at getting the basket, and he proves it there. 9-0. Sixth leading score in Division I basketball at 23 a game. Baker, blow by. Baker tried to slam it, but it was blocked by Romaro Gill. Rutgers has done a good job on the offensive glass on misses. How about Young slipping through the Texas transfer? And Powell, no. Flying through. Carter almost had it. Now it's up with Young, and Young has it swatted by Powell. Wow. This kid with the ball has eyes behind his head. He is a great passer, Mulcahy. McConnell's going to dial it up. And it drops down after popping out. Why not? Junkin started to whistle a block, but Boborowski won that argument. Carter, great defense again there with a block. Here's Harper stopping at the elbow. Yes, and he's fouled. Watch Ike Obiago in the middle of the lane. He's there to stop everything close and doesn't do it. The dunk by Johnson, but that was all the pass by Caleb McConnell. Indeed. Nelson slips it inside to kill. Has to put it up, and he got it. So a little bit of momentum for Seton Hall in a first half that was otherwise dominated by Rutgers. With Kellis Valley, Mamo Kellis Valley out and Miles Powell, those are the two best players on his team. Mathis lays it in. Powell sitting out for the reason we have no idea what that is. He's the guy who has to take control. Baker drives and dishes. Harper with an equalizer on the other end. Too much help by the Hall. Driving. McKnight. Yes, two more. That is nine on the degree of difficulty scale right there, my friend. I think the fact that he can play extended minutes and then not suffer is big news for Miles Johnson also. How about this anticipation? The steal of the jam for Caleb McConnell. The clock keeps going on this situation, by the way. You're one pass away. You deny your man the ball. Just stepping up and firing Quincy McKnight. You said he needed to be the guy. He now has a left. And uh, Sandro out. I mean, it, it's it's a dilemma that they find themselves in here. What a slot by Obiagu. It will remain Rutgers basketball, though they say it went out off of Anthony Nelson. Set situation. Clear out for the right side. There's the clear out. There's the lob pass. And the foul. He had the size advantage, and Harper takes advantage. He's got some magic to him. There's no doubt about that. Uh, to say it was energetic would be an understatement. Here's a lob up top of the flush. Gill goes high to slam it. He's put in 18 great minutes, nine points, and some solid defense. Three quiets the crowd by Jared Roden, and then Kevin Willard is going to take the timeout. Their aggressive nature has come to fruition. And Rutgers has painted the Garden State scarlet.